Now that we've got the handle made, we're going to turn our attention to the remainder of the slide. First of all, we need some measurements from the frame. So I'm going to measure up from the pivot point to about midway on this top hole here, and I've got 8 inches. I need half an inch for this stop that goes through the hole, so 8.5. I need half an inch to go through the uh, pivot point, so 9 inches, plus about an inch and a half for our taper to the ball, plus a half inch for the ball, so two inches there. So we've got eight, eight and a half, nine, plus two, 11 inches for our slide material. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upset the end of the bar. Why? Because when I bend this tenon around, it's going to pull this shoulder, and I want a, a nice sharp shoulder. So I'm just going to bump this up for a heat, uh, put a bit of material in, and then I'm going to draw the tenon. I don't need crisp shoulders to the tenon because I can work that out a little later. Once I've got the tenon drawn out and it's straight, I'm going to punch for the, um, for the handle. I'm going to punch for 5 16. When I drift, I'm going to drift from both sides. I'm going to be very careful not to stretch the bottom side. So I'll drift from both sides, get my hole where I want it to be. Next step, I'm going to quench this as I bend the stop. I'll bend the stop over at 90 degrees, and then I'm going to leave it until I rivet up the handle. Once the handle's rivet up, then I'm going to put that slight curve to the stop. Once this assembly is complete, I'm going to turn my attention to the other end. I'm going to isolate the material for the ball. I'm going to draw out the taper um, to the hook, and then I'm going to make the ball. You've seen me make the ball before, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. So here we are, we've got our frame and we've got our slide. So that slide ball should just fit through there and come up. And you can see that um, the taper finishes right at the bottom of the frame, which is good. And this hopefully has got sufficient clearance 
that it's not going to interfere with the bottom of the frame here. So the way this works is the two hooks go together and you can see they're outside of the frame and they're pivoting on the bottom here and as you apply pressure it's pushing this stop into the hole. If you like this style of blacksmithing check out my website markasprey.com I have three books there to help you with your blacksmithing education. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you on the next one.